different terms, which, which I'm going to guess there mostly are different terms, I would tell the term stories. What's, a, what's good about a short term? Pay it off quicker. What else? Less taxes. Less taxes? Less interest. No, fewer finance charges. Fewer finance charges. They did not. All right. <laughs> fewer finance charges. What else is good? About, what is good about? What else is good about a short term? Pay it off quicker. You pay it off quicker. You said less taxes. Um, uh, pay it off quicker. Trade sooner. Save money. Fewer finance charges. Correct? All those good things. Yes. What's good about a long term? Lower payment. Lower payment. And it's more flexible and actually provides the customer more financial freedom because there is no prepayment penalty if they pay it off early, is there? So they could still save money, still pay it off quicker, still trade sooner. They just do it in their own time frame, right? right. There's no such thing as a bad term. When we get to 120 month financing, which we probably will, probably not in my lifetime, but in your lifetimes, you'll get to 120 month financing. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I know. There's 96 now. Yeah, you're right. So we ain't far from 120. So I'll make up a good story about 120. I'll make up a good story about 96. There's no such thing as a bad term. See, the, the thing I like best about short, showing short-term financing is it's, it's a great conditioner. If I show a 48, a 60, and a 75, how good is that 75 going to look after looking at the 48 and 60? Real good. And you don't have to worry about many customers choosing the shorter term. It ain't going to happen. Okay? But it's a great conditioner, and you're telling, you're telling the absolute truth. Cash is good. Why? Cash is Save money. Pay Trade, sooner. Trade sooner. Yeah. And somebody this morning said it works. If, uh, with a lower term, you can get a better interest rate. I said, we don't want to talk interest rates with customers. Okay? So I said, just reduce the finance charges. Yeah, All right. Financing your taxes. Does it make sense to take a few seconds and go through these things that come with the vehicle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're certain. I don't know. They're telling us not to talk about it. They're telling us not to talk about it. I don't. I, yeah. I, I know. You're so talking about the service contract. Yeah, so like whenever, before the customer goes into finance, finance will page the salesperson in there and they'll say, hey, like give me the rundown on this customer. Like how did they buy? What were their, what was their buying motive. procedure? Yeah, like what's their motive? How much are they driving? They want to kind of know in order to set up, but they really don't like us to go over the warranty. So like if I'm selling a used car, Carfax shows us the remaining warranty. I'm trying to build value in the car, but finance really doesn't want, if the customer knows all the warranties that they get for free, it's, it, I guess it's harder on them to sell something which maybe that's their own problem. Well, maybe that, that's not yeah, actually that, something, so. you know what I mean? Because we're trying to build value. And this uh, has recently actually, been a change. I'm concerned with selling the car. Right. right. Making course. gross profit. Of course. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Right. Okay? I understand finance and insurance, believe me. I was a finance manager. I mean, if it still has factory warranty on it, it makes the service contract cheaper. Uh, yeah, it does. It You're does. right. You're it right. Makes it cheaper. I would, yeah. I still buy okay, well, I, that's that's a that's a internal mm -hmm. process thing. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't get involved with. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I never say anything. 